Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is an ode to Alexis and David bickering, probably nonstop, on a show called S Creek. Now, I'm not going to actually say the word, because apparently YouTube does not like swearing within the first 30 seconds. So, you're just going to hear me spell it out, S-C-H-I-T-T -T apostrophe S Creek. <laughs> I think that'll get around it. I don't think me spelling it out will get me in trouble, but uh, yeah, this will be interesting. This is actually the first time I've ever reacted to this show. <laughs> Notice I'm avoiding the name of the show again, <laughs> but uh, this is actually the first time I've actually seen anything to do with this show. So this will be a first and uh, I'm looking forward to it. This was requested by a Patreon subscriber. If you too would like to join the Patreon link down below in the description, we'll get you there. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I post daily. And throw a like on the video. I think I already said that. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. You know what, David? You get murdered first for once. No, you get murdered first. David, you get murdered first. No, you, yes, you, you get murdered it. first. <laughs> okay, so they're trying to decide who sleeps closest to the motel door. Oh my gosh. Motels are rough because, you know, they're cheap, which is great, but they are a door. This is a classic Bill Burr joke. They're a door to the world. You're within eight feet from the world and you're, you know, naked in your bed. With just with just one door with hopefully a good lock on it. And, uh, yeah, that's just... Hotels are so much better. But, uh, obviously, there are... There is a price limit to get into a hotel. Give me some space. Is it still cute You're or is it... You're a dick, David. Oh, I'm a dick. Okay, did I dump you for a party? How many people do you know that are currently in the prison system? Is it like... Um. I'm pretty sure 12. just two. All right, that's enough. How long are we going to be talking about you for? I think I'm having a heart attack is David, what's happening. You are like 34. Ew. Shh. Why is it It can dark? happen any time. It's like a witch's house in here, David. Shush. So it's going to be fun, David. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Children. Children. I'm going to slap you in the face. I texted Alexis. I'm sorry for not responding to like one text, David. Someone keeps eating my yogurt. <gasps> what kind of yogurt? I was saving that for after my run, David. Oh my God, I guess I was saving it for during your run then. <laughs> See ya. Oh my gosh, David, it's gonna be so fun Don't for you me. tonight. Don't touch me. Don't, that's harassment. That with Mom. It's so nice. It's harassment. I'm the one who should be at a sketchy bar meeting randoms. I'm the one who should go missing. Well then come. I can't. Why? Well, for one thing, this mask doesn't come off for another 20 minutes. Bring it in, big guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's something I want to do right now. David, that's poor right now. Speaking of which, David, I'm going to need you to come and look at the apartment with me. Okay, why would I do that? This is cute, right? I think this is super cute. Wait, is it cute? Putting your name on a line of edible nail polish isn't what I would call having a job. I was very hands-on, David. I came up with all of the flavors by myself. Even the one that poisoned all those people? David, the factory in Guangzhou assured us that it was lead-free. Ugh. I'm going to be hearing the way she says, David, in my sleep. <laughs> Who picked through my cake and only left the icing? Who eats the icing? What kind of barnyard were you raised in where you just eat someone else's food? So you can share a boyfriend, but you can't share a piece of cake? Not all of us can flirt our way into getting a driver's license. Okay, you tried parallel parking in a burqa, David. Okay, what are you doing? Reorganizing my nits. <laughs> I think you're brave. Well, that's very nice of you to say, David. Okay, he's being sarcastic. What? Oh. What? Woof, David. I asked what? you to get the box of hand cream, what? not sample the hand cream. That's like 53 pounds. Why are you here? When the twins arrive, <laughs> I'm going to really need your help. Um, that's a hard pass. You're going to be so involved in their lives. Mm, your body, your problem. David Alexis isn't pregnant. <laughs> okay, but just picture them as like tiny little roommates. Yeah, Those tiny are. little poops yeah, you get to clean so up. Much. You know what? 
I can't have your personal drama storming over my business dealings right now, so I think it's best if you got out of the car and walked home. Walked home? That would take like 15 minutes, David. That's absolutely not happening. He's the only attractive person on here, David. What did you want me to do? Well, then go on a date with him. I can't. Fine, then don't. Okay, but I want to, David. Oh my God, Alexis, I am suffering. Um, Ted and I got electrical <laughs> storm, so. That's impossible. What did, what did you do to get that? Did you plug your hair dryer in with wet hands again? Okay, that happened twice, David, let it go. David! David! Stop! Could be worse. You guys could be a total power failure. Mmm, eat glass. Ken? Just when I thought it was impossible <laughs> to find a 30-something named Ken. Oh, I think he looked younger than 30. Fuck off, Alexis. Oh, I was supposed to go to dinner with Ted, David. <laughs> then go for dinner with Ted. But now I feel like I should be here for you. Why? <sighs> Let's just hope we don't find out. What? You can trust me. Okay, That's can eerie. I? Because the last time I left you in charge of something... <laughs> this is about those stupid Tamagotchis? Actually, it is. Okay, guys, you left me with six of them, David. Taking care of that many is like a full-time job. I left you with six adult Tamagotchis in perfect health. Okay, this shouldn't be so hard. Oh, oh my God, just spit it out, David. Oh my God, fine. <gasps> <laughs> that takes me back to, uh, I used to have one of those Tamagotchis. I think everyone did at that time. And I guess they kind of made a comeback now, right? But, uh... Everyone would go to school, and you couldn't bring it to school, otherwise it would just get confiscated. So you had to leave it at home with your parents. I mean, more specifically, your mom. And they just either didn't care or just weren't interested in learning how to do it, or they just weren't good at it. And almost always, every day, it was just Tamagotchi was really well cared for, everything other than the school day. <laughs> And the school day, they would either die or you'd come home and they were sick or whatever. And it was just every day just having to, like, re-energize it and bring it back to life. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Back in the very simple days of Tamagotchis. Oh, oh my God, David. Knock much? <gasps> okay, like a little bit less eager and maybe one without Stevie. No offense. Actually, what's crazy is the Tamagotchi was the first, like, cell phone thing. Because I remember Tamagotchis was the first thing that teachers were, like, actively taking away from kids. And then that blended into cell phones. And I'm sure today it's exactly the same way as it was when I was in high school. I first got my first cell phone freshman year of high school. And uh, it was a flip phone. <laughs> that ages me. Although I guess flip phones are kind of back a little bit with the foldable screens. All right. Right, Alexis, could you put the phone down? You're going to be spending six months with Ted. I think the two of you can chill for a minute. Good luck, though. Lick rust. Thank you. You mixed up the day and the month on your ticket again, didn't you? No. I, no. Like that time you showed up to Kate Winslet's wedding a month late. The calligraphy was hard to read, and Billy Zane also did the same thing, David. You're wearing a wedding dress to my wedding. This is not a wedding dress. It's a white floor-length gown. It's very different. <laughs> did it come with a veil? No, it came with a headdress. A uh, what? Oh, uh, what? I think you're right. I know. About what? Like, I think I'm wearing a wedding dress. Oh, I know that. Now, can you please walk me down the aisle before people lose interest? Hey, David. It would be my honor. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I've never actually seen that before, and that was very funny. Those two get along very well. Obviously, they're siblings. Um, they have very similar speaking tones and it just almost makes it sound like somebody's just mocking the other person the entire time <laughs> but that also means they're very similar in thinking so it just adds to the it adds to it because they're so quick with each other and they're able to snap back whether it's an insult or whatever just immediately back at the other person and it's such a burn every time <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, that one line about Tomagachis just stuck out to me because it just took me back so far. Oh my gosh. That was back when times were a little simpler. There was no such thing as apps. The only people that really had cell phones at that time were probably business people. And they were huge. I remember my mom's first cell phone was just this massive. It was 
probably about that thick and maybe half of it was the battery pack that you could just take off and put another one on and it was just so heavy so heavy and you'd have the little antenna that you could pull out gosh we have just in my lifetime because i was there before cell phones i was there you know the first iteration of cell phones i was there for the you know flip phones the sony ericsson's the nokia's um and just all of it the razor craze um blackberries sidekicks all of that stuff like full qwerty keyboards on phones like what i get blackberry was kind of like the business person phone but um i couldn't understand why anybody would want a full keyboard on a smaller than a blackberry phone because blackberries back in the day were pretty freaking huge to the point where it was easier to hit the uh keys but yeah oh my gosh if you never experienced texting through T9, you have it easy. <laughs> that stuff was difficult. Hitting like the three button three times to get to the letter C. Oh my gosh. Anyway, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Link to the Patreon down below in the description. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the recommendation. Appreciate you watching it with me. And I shall see you on the next one. Peace.